Travel and Tourism Industries Basic Principles. Later in 2022 planes and hotels were full. We saw long lines at attractions and people began to speak about over tourism instead of too little tourism. That does not mean that the past year was without challenges and the new year will be smooth sailing. The new year, 2023, will require the travel and tourism industry and its professionals will have to face both ongoing challenges and new challenges. Travel and tourism cannot be separated from the world context in which it operates. Be that context of political states of war, or of health issues, or economic undulations, what occurs throughout the world touches every aspect of tourism. The year 2022 saw a boom in the tourism industry. After what seemed to be eternal lockdowns, the public was eager to travel. This boom caused a decline in customer service and multiple price rises. Although no one can predict the future, it would appear that tourism and travel professionals will have to deal with issues such as tourism and travel labor shortages, ongoing inflation, political instability, the potential for a new health crisis or a new form of COVID-19. It is for these reasons it is good for travel and tourism professionals to take a step back and review at least some of the basic fundamentals of their industry. We all claim to know these fundamental principles, but all too often in the madness of life and work, we need to be reminded of some of the basic principles of tourism, what we do and why we do it. To get the new year off to a great start, Tourism Tidbits provides you both this month and next month with a listing of some of these basic principles. It behooves tourism professionals to remember that when these principles are ignored eventually the entire industry suffers. In the world of leisure travel, tourism is the telling of a story in which the visitor becomes part of the tale. To travel is to seek the difference, to find a way to leave the humdrum of daily life and enter into a world of non-realities. This basic principle means that the tourism industry must allow its visitors to experience the unique and special in a safe and secure environment. Remember we are selling memories and it is our job to help our customers create memories that can be shared. Tourism and travel professionals should never forget that they are selling memories. No matter if the travel product is of the leisure or business variety, we are selling memories. Even on short business trips, how we treat people and the service we offer is both commented upon and remembered. The fact that air travel has become so unpleasant and often expensive is one of the reasons that business people have continued to seek non-travel options. It cannot be stated too often, that most leisure travel and tourism are choices made by the consumer who is using his or her expendable income and time. In all but a few cases, and with the exception of business travel and some forms of health travel, the customer does not have to choose to travel. This simple fact means that tourists often frighten easily and may have unrealistic expectations. It does the travel expert no good to become either frustrated or annoyed with his or her customer. Although the customer may technically not always be right, the customer always has the option of not traveling. In that case, it is the professional or the professional's business that in the end suffers. This fundamental principle is so important that around the world places that provide clean efficient and friendly service and products prosper. Others, who took their visitors for granted, demonstrate disappointing results. A basic rule of tourism and travel is, to treat your customer fairly, and provided a good product in a safe and clean environment. Travelers understand that the tourism industry must show a profit if it is to survive. Making a profit however does not mean overcharging or underserving. Be sure that your prices are in line with your competition, your service is delivered promptly and with a smile and your security demonstrates a sense of caring. In tourism, a perception may not be true, but its consequences are always true. Negative reputations are not easy to erase, and negative perceptions can destroy the tourism industry. If our visitors perceive that they are not wanted, or are seen as easy prey, then they will soon find alternatives. Tourism is security dependent. In a world where one can experience virtual travel, where meetings can be held on a computer, and where the traveler is exposed to 24-hour news cycles, our customers know where there are problems, be these problems concern security, health, or even infrastructure. The COVID-19 pandemic is an example of how fragile the tourism industry can be. Crime and terrorism are also major problems around the world. Countries that are not perceived to be safe and skimp on security are risking great economic loss. It is essential to create safety and security to create such an atmosphere local security professionals must be part of the planning from the beginning. 
Tourism security is more than merely having police or security professionals at a site. Tourism security requires psychological and sociological analysis, the use of hardware, interesting and unique uniforms, and careful planning that integrates the security professional into the enchantment experience. Travel and tourism professionals need to love our customers. Tourism professionals need to travel so that they come to experience the world of travel and tourism both as a provider and as a customer. If travel professionals are perceived as hating their customers then customer service and quality of service will soon decline. Visitors are savvy and know when tourism and travel officials are more interested in their own ego trips than in the vacationer's experience. An employee who is unique, funny, or makes people go away feeling special is worth thousands of dollars in advertising. Every tourism manager and hotel GM ought to have performed at least once every task in his or her industry. Often tourism managers push so hard for the bottom line that they forget that their employees are also human beings. Professional burnout can become a real problem. Tourism is hard work, and many people find the industry too hard. Be on the lookout for new and creative employees, seek people who are gregarious and extroverted, and people with both patience and a sense of adventure. Source, Tourism Tidbits by Tourism and More.